Hi, I'm Matt Crane. I'm the facilities manager here at Triple Tree Aerodrome. We take care of a 7,000 foot long grass runway. Previously, we used a 38 foot six inch wide mower that we built here at Triple Tree ourselves. We then decided that we wanted to move to an autonomous mowing situation to where we could achieve a better cut and then straighter lines as well. So we moved into having the Firefly automatic mower here that you see behind us. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Join AOPA today. Thanks to Lightspeed for sponsoring this video. Click below to learn more about the Lightspeed Delta Zulu. The maintenance of the, of the large mower that we used to use is very intensive maintenance. There's a lot of blades to sharpen. There's a lot of hydraulic lines that need to be changed. Hydraulic lines burst. They create problems for the grass airfield. This is an all-electric mower and it has zero fluids, zero chance of it contaminating the ground and the grass. Our rotary mower, our 38 foot wide rotary mower, was not as precise as the real mower. The time savings that the rotary saves us in the field is huge, but the precision that you lose with that is not matched by the real mower. Precision is important in real mowing grass because it makes it look prettier, it's better, it, it's more appealing to the eye. So here at Triple Tree, we pride ourselves in taking care of our runways. We sand the runway to make it as possibly smooth as we can. By doing so, airplanes are able to land here. It's almost as smooth as asphalt pavement, but with the softness of landing on grass. So this company, Firefly, is a great company to work with. Their, their customer service is unmatched. The, the ease of using it, the simplicity of it, the maintenance level is zero hardly. Um, we maintenance the mowers, we keep the reels sharp, we grease the bearings. Uh, there's no fuel, there's no, there's no uh, engine oil, there's no hydraulic oil, no coolant. It's all electrically operated. You can send it out in one day, charge in the middle of lunch, and then come back and mow 25 more acres after lunch all within about three hours of a, of a charge cycle. We've had this unit for a little over a year, 2025, and we're moving into 2026, and we're also buying a rotary mower from the same company that's on the same platform that will be a rotary mower for rougher areas and a, a real mower for finished areas. So our grass at Triple Tree and our runways for our electric lines, our full-scale runways, is three quarters of an inch. Everything outside of that is cut at two and a half or inch and a half. The Firefly is autonomous, and what that basically means is I give it a perimeter pass, I tell it where to work inside of, and then the program, their software program, teaches it what to go inside of that, and we control that from an iPad or a tablet, and it's running a web-based program that uses RTK GPS corrections. The overlap of the mower is three inches so that's an inch and a half off of each side so if you compare that to the width of a two by four that you would use in a building situation that's what you're overlapping and it keeps it perfectly straight when it finishes a job it tells me that it's finished and i can then pick a path for it to go back to the charge station at our shop here at triple tree and then it will return to that point of location and stop and let me know that it's finished it takes an hour and a half to recharge